What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. This video is not about video games, but it is about the direction that we're moving in America. Uh, America, honestly guys, is becoming extremely politically correct. Uh, we've gotten to the point now where offending anyone is just too much. If anyone feels offended in a room, everybody seems to jump to their rescue. Now you can't criticize, you can't oppose, you can't disagree, because if you do, then you're part of the problem. Now, I see many, many issues with this mindset. Uh, for those who don't know, look it up. Political correctness was actually something invented in the Soviet Union, Soviet Russia, as a way to control the common masses. It's a brainwashing technique, and it's being used on us in America now. Anyway, the X-Men movie of X-Men Apocalypse recently hit theaters, and uh, they had a billboard uh, up on a highway somewhere, and uh, a lot of people got offended by this billboard. Why do you ask? Look at the image. What's wrong with the image? Now, I was born in 1980. To me, there's nothing wrong with the image. It's a fucking movie, okay? It's a movie. Uh, in movies, movies are art. Things happen in movies. There are many movies where women get choked. There are movies when, when men get choked. There are movies when people get killed, all right? And to me, having a billboard of a, a superhero movie where the super villain is holding one of the heroes by their neck is pretty damn normal. Now we've got these extremely political correct people, feminists as well, who see major issues with this image because you're denigrating a woman. You're, you're, you're showing abuse of a woman. No, we're showing apocalypse choking mystique. It's fiction and we're turning this fucking country into a group of pansies. I mean, there are men out there now that if you show them a picture of, of a fish getting filleted, they turn away. Oh, God, I can't deal with it. What, what's happening to the men in the world? What's happening to the world, period? I mean, even women. What is wrong with showing something like this? You people are really tripping me out. That's why my kids are homeschooled. I'm not going to let my kids turn to everybody else. I'm not going to let my children's minds be controlled like everybody else. I'm a man, first of all. I believe men do men things. And my wife's a woman. She does women things. If my wife talked to somebody who's politically correct, women in the world, they would say, oh my God, are you telling me that you cook and clean every day? That you do the laundry? He doesn't do laundry at all? Never? Oh my God. You're, And they would come to me and they'd say, sir, you are mistreating your wife. She does all the, the duties of the house. She homeschools your children. What is wrong with you? And to her, I would say, bitch, get out of my house and don't ever come back. You are the problem. See, I play a role. I'm the man of the house. I go to work. I provide for my wife and my children. I'm totally fine with that. I'm the disciplinarian. My wife is the, the one who is there to to uh, give emotional support and emotional backing to these children when, when they need it. She's the woman. My wife understands that there's a role that she plays and that I play it. And that's why we've been, we've been happy as hell for the last seven years because we both play our role. She doesn't try to be the man in a relationship. My wife constantly says this. It trips her out when she hears these stupid women down here in Atlanta say, I don't need no man. That's why these dumbass women are single, because that stupid mindset. Shit, I need my woman. A woman needs a man. That's what God put us here for. We're supposed to be together. But anyway, I've, I've digressed. Jeez. I'll drop a link in the description. Fox apologizes for X-Men Apocalypse billboard showing Jennifer Lawrence getting choked. Social media has not been kind to this 20th Century Fox billboard for X-Men Apocalypse, which shows the titular villain Apocalypse choking Mystique, with Rose McGowan urging others to yell at Fox about using imagery of a violent act against a woman to sell a movie. Now, Rose McGowan, I, I know you, you've kind of fallen off the map in the last 15 years, but weren't you the chick getting stabbed and getting jacked up and scream? Didn't you get your head smashed? and scream like by a, a door of a garage or something that's severe violence against women you change quite a bit continuing on well fox has now apologized and removed the billboard admitting in a statement that quote in our enthusiasm to show the villainy of the character apocalypse we didn't immediately recognize the upsetting connotation of the image in print form once we realized how insensitive it was, we quickly took steps to remove those materials, end quote. Fox, you're coddling to these feminists and these politically correct pansy boys and women who are pissed off at home watching Oprah. Continuing on, generally, when apologies are made for boneheaded moves like this, they sound phony and ultimately self-serving, but Fox seems pretty genuinely contrite here. 
that's almost worse in a way because who knows how many executives, male and female, saw the image and approved it, not expecting any blowback for Apocalypse and his imposing cheekbones attacking Jennifer Lawrence. Wasn't there any other picture they could have used, or even better, an image of Apocalypse choking Cyclops? No one likes Cyclops. So, this is the direction we're going. And the thing is, guys, nobody steps up. Nobody questions this. No one wants anybody to feel bad, okay? If you're a supervillain, you can't stare someone to death. He's a supervillain in a movie. What do you think he's going to do? They're going to have a stare off? They're going to do a spelling bee? What is wrong with these people? Everybody has an agenda. The agenda is to desensitize Americans and the rest of the world into being these politically correct pansies and shadows of our former self. Look around now. These men nowadays have major issues being manly. Women have major issues playing the role of a woman. Most women do. Do I like women to work? Sure. Do I like women to stay at home? Sure. Do what you want to do. But I prefer a woman who's willing to play her role that benefits me and I play a role that benefits her. In my house, that's just the way it is. If your wife works, that's totally fine. If it, if it benefits your lifestyle, fucking do your thing. But these people have major problems. This political correct crap is really, really irking me. I would have never taken this billboard down. There was absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a super villain fighting a superhero look at her face does she look like she's hurt no it looks like she's staring into his eyes rose mcgowan go lay down in somebody's garage and let the garage door smash your head once again because you are a complete idiot well that's my rant for the day you guys leave your comments below let me know how you feel about this politically correct society that is turning everybody into robots nobody's able to question anything if you don't agree with something you're either a bigot a racist or something else. Sometimes you can't just disagree. If you are if you don't agree with the feminist movement, you are a misogynistic asshole. I think this is bullshit. I totally do. And you feminists aren't making anything better. I know you guys think that feminism is great. No, it's not. You know, we're supposed to be together. Feminism is not equality. It's like the LGBT movement. It's not equality. If the LGBT movement was equality, then everyone would be equal as far as what people want. The fact that the LGBT movement is being pushed on everybody, that if you go inside of a Target and some dude walks in the bathroom with you, that's not equal because you didn't ask for that. Same thing with the feminist movement. It's not equality because they're only looking out for females. Do, do you guys know that the number one rape victims in the world are men in prison? Men get raped at a higher rate than females do. Men in prison have been raped more than women in the free world. So. It's just crazy that these movements believe that they're fighting for equality, but they're really fighting to fuck everything up, and it pisses me off. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, leave your comments below on this insanity. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.